Hi everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Happy to have you here. Today I want to analyze target stock, ticker symbol TGT. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what's going on. So, we got a market cap of 74 billion, PE ratio of 26, earnings per share $6.02, and a dividend yield of 2.73%. Very nice dividend yield. I like that. Analysts say it's overvalued. Okay. So it looks to me like the high, well, right now the stock price is $160. $160 right now. The highest it's ever been looks like is back in May 1st of 2021, about $265. So that's, that's quite a fall. That's, that's a big fall. And um, it looks like the last time it was $160. I mean, uh, this cheap looks like basically back in uh, 2020. So, you know, that's, that's quite a long time. So let's take a look here at the revenue and earnings. Okay, revenue looks good, going straight up um, from 2020 right up to this year. Earnings um, down a little bit this year. That's to be expected. So, okay, let's take a look at the statistics. And I'm afraid, I'm afraid it's going to be a little overvalued for me. Let's see. Let's take a look. Statistics. Okay. Um, okay, it's not showing me the uh, trailing PE or the forward PE for whatever reason. Okay, profit margin, 2.55%. That's not much. That's not much. But it's, you know, it's big retail. It's to be expected. Operating margin, 3.63%. Return on assets, 4.62%. And return on equity, 23.11%. The total cash is $2.2 billion, and total debt is $19 billion. Operating cash flow, $4 billion, and levered free cash flow is negative $2.65 billion. And the payout ratio is 66%. Okay, let's go to the analysis, and we'll take a look. And it looks like the sales growth for, well, it says 2024 is 2%. And 2025, 2.10%. Um, wow, okay. For the current quarter, it's 0.80%. And for the next quarter in 2023, 0.90%. Okay, none of this looks too great to me. None of this looks too great. I, no, I mean, for the long term, it, it might be all right for the very long term, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't do it. Um, I think it's, it's overvalued, and the sales growth doesn't look great, and I don't like the way... They are negative on their uh, lever-free cash flow, so they're they're they're. I mean, it's not a terrible, you know, but it it's not good enough to buy. We can do better. We can certainly do better. So for me, if I was to hold it, would I sell it? No, I wouldn't sell it, but I wouldn't buy it either. I would just hold it. I would not buy any more at this time. So that was pretty easy. That's my take on Target. That's all I got for you for right now. So until next time. Bless each and every one of you. Peace.